Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> of course she lives at the crackhead house. Oh she my is gosh. The crackhead. Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am here with Ashton Blue. My brother. And today we are going to Dunkin' Donuts. Because gonna... pumpkin spice is back, guys. Yes, pumpkin guys. spice is back! He is 20. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to Dunkin', obviously, just said that, and we're going to get the pumpkin spice iced coffees, and we are going to be telling some story times from our childhood. Woo! We're going to tell the story of the time we were on a cruise ship, and that thing basically practically sunk. Like, it it couldn't have got any worse. Our cruise ship got delayed a day before we because could get Because of that. this incident. Because it was that bad. So... So yeah. it's a big deal. And okay, you have to we're, go straight. Remember. We're willing to tell you guys that story. So yeah, that's going to be the story that's going to be on his channel, so make sure you go check that out. Um, but today we are going to be telling the story on how we saved a baby possum. Woo! Sounds weird, but it was really cute. And yeah. So I'm going to be honest. I haven't uploaded on my YouTube channel in a long time. Like two years. She hasn't uploaded on her channel in a long time. I like believe. a month. But before that. Like, yeah, I took like a year break. So same as you. She was feeling burnout, like the career was getting to her head. She had to just like relax yeah. a little bit. Honest, yeah, I was getting a little cocky. Honestly, that guy has a freaking inner tube in his, okay. How do you know that's a guy? I don't assume. I just can't see in that jungle, so I assume. I have a big <sighs> plans, like big plans. So if, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd highly recommend you do it. That person behind us literally honked. Dude, it just <laughs> turned. Yeah, it literally just turned green. I literally did not. Okay, I want mine with just just cream. Say get can I get a medium pumpkin iced coffee with cream and then yours is cream and sugar. Okay, I'm gonna put it here for you. What is it? A pumpkin a medium pumpkin iced coffee with cream. Uh can I get two medium pumpkin spice iced coffee. iced coffees with cream? Two medium iced pumpkin spices with just cream? Do you want one with sugar? Anything uh, else? Can I get one with sugar, actually? One with sugar and one without sugar. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. It'll be 555 at the window. All right, 555. Let's go. Um, so I'm going to put the straws in for us. I'm going to completely avoid getting gas. Like, I'm going to drive What is it. she on? She's got oh. a quarter. So we'll just probably be fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So anyway. I'm just going to take my time because there's not yeah. a dude behind me honking aggressively unnecessarily. Mm. That's good. That's really oh. good. <laughs> it's the best time of the year, am I right? I think we should go ahead and okay. get started. Okay, Hannah Montana. Um, <laughs> hey y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. <laughs> so, me, him, and his girlfriend were driving around our city. Um, I think we went to Target that day, got a few things, came home, and Usually when I get home, I like look for my mom. Like, I don't know why I do that. I just do to tell her I'm You're like You're probably gonna back. tell her about the haul you got, you know? Yeah, or like tell her that I'm home or something. And this day, it was just weird because I knew she wasn't mm. working. Yeah, it's really good. Ooh. I knew she wasn't working because I usually know when she's working and she works from home. So I was like, where is she? Because she wasn't in the house. So I look in the backyard and I just see her and dad like, just doing something in the backyard. So I walk out there to tell her like, hey, I'm home. So I go out there and she's like holding something and I'm like, what? <laughs> so she's just like holding something and I was like, okay. So I walk out there and I was like, yo, I'm home. Well, I didn't say yo because it's weird. But um, I go there and tell her I'm home and she's like, dad just found a baby possum in the, um, little box that's in our pool because like it catches all like the like bugs and leaves and stuff and I was like oh my gosh and like I had always talked about like how cute baby opossums are because they're really cute like I don't know if that's just me but they're just cute it was, it was cute and I was like freaking out I was like oh my gosh like this thing is so cute and I was like stressed out because the pool was cold at that time and like it was just so little and skinny and I think it like lost its mom or something because it didn't look like it had had food in a while um but then like you R. come R. out R. so tell me what your point of view was because you came out. I mean honestly this is how it usually goes for me 
I'm usually in my room and then nobody tells me anything. And then what happens is I come downstairs and then they're like, oh, this happened or this happened or this happened. Sorry, I almost slapped you in the face. Turn right at the light. So I come down and there's an opossum in my living room in a wrapped up well, like you baby came outside, Jesus. I thought. Wrapped up like baby Jesus. This thing was wrapped up probably like like Moses was before they put him in the basket. Okay. Um, you know, you know what I mean. Like it was, it was all bundled up. Sure. And Rachel's holding it like. Yeah, I went full on like mom mode on this baby. It was so adorable, and I just like, I don't know, I just like felt connected to him because I love animals. Like I'm the type of person like, if an animal looks like it needs help or something, like I'm always there to like just be a little mom. Yeah. To it for a little bit. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we had it wrapped in towels. We put a towel in the dryer and like let it get warm so we could warm it up and dry it off because it had, it was drowning in the pool. And thank God my dad was outside to see that it had felt, fallen in. Um, but we had it inside and like my parents were frantically like calling around like um, rescuers and like centers like to see if we could take it because Foster homes. <laughs> we didn't know if it was too young to just take it to a park and like let it go in the wild um it was about this big it was pretty small with its tail it was about that big i'm gonna insert some pictures too to be like in pouches oh my god all right so can one of you hold it but so they're calling around and freaking out because no one's getting back to us at this point it's like 7 going on 8 p.m it's really good when you get that sugary sip yeah so that happens and he actually one of, I think maybe my mom or my dad posted something on Facebook like asking people do you know anybody who can take this because we couldn't keep it because we don't know how to take care of them like we don't know what yeah. to do for it and we didn't know if it was sick from the cold water or anything um that's a nice forerunner but so what happened I think his girlfriend's dad like contacted our dad and like told him he knew somebody but uh, somehow we got in contact with somebody. We left like voicemails for a couple people and someone got back to us and she was like, yeah, you can drop it off. Um, it was like this part of our city that was like really far from our house. Um, it's like deep into uh, the country kind of. And it was like 10 p.m. at this point. It was like something really late. Like, it was really late at night. We'd had him for a whole day, basically. We had we had, had no. him for a whole day. Okay, I did think it was a boy and I named it. I named him Jake, but it turns out Jake is a she. So, I hope she has a girly name now. Um, when we take it to this, oh my god, I'm illiterate. We take it to this lady. She was super nice about it. She was like, yeah, he wouldn't have been able to survive on his own in the wild. So, thank god we took him. And I'm glad he's probably surviving. She said she had like a couple of them. I remember her saying something like she specialized in like not possums. Well, she did kind of, but she had a lot of possums because she, that that she specialized in. It was something. <laughs> Bears. Oh, is there anything else you want to add? Because I think that's all. It was so cute. It was just like on the car ride, it was just in my arms, and he was looking around like. He was like tilting his head, like looking around. It was so cute. Honestly, I miss the little fella. Like I do. I miss him dearly. She. I miss her dearly. I didn't know Jake as well as the rest of you, but I do know he was the best darn opossum I've ever met in my life. For sure, he was. He was the type of opossum that just stayed awesome. You know, like he just always stayed awesome. Didn't know it was uh, 100 miles per hour. Stay, stay awesome, possum. It was kind of sad when I had to part my ways with him, but her. It's, it's more about what's best for her, her not for us. Yes. All right. I always put her first. All right, make sure you go to his channel and- Check out the cruise ship video, guys. Like, I'm it's telling you- It's crazy. It, this, this one's more lighthearted than this one is. Yeah. This was a very scary moment. For our... a second, I definitely was putting my life jacket I on. I really and, thought like... we were gonna have to get in the lifeboats. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say is it was a, it was a Disney cruise, so Mickey, 
goofy all of them were flipping out like they were jumping they looked board. scared like they actually did look scared all the like dressed up people yeah they they were like <laughs> and they were trying you can tell they were trying to act calm okay anyway if you want to hear more just go check out his video make yes. sure you subscribe to him subscribe to me i'll leave my instagram down below hey guys um i just edited the video and i realized i never made an outro so this is the outro from ashton's bed so thank you guys for watching ashton what do you have to say bump this guy's <laughs> Bye. Bye.